Hello and welcome to the second part of the demo series about the use of the Office OpenXML format within Documents Callback. Um, the last time we created this quote template that shows a list of all quote products and a table in here. And if you remember, all we had to do was to click on the additional tab in the task pane because there the quote quote product relation was already resolved and all we had to do was get to the place in the template and double click on one of the attributes to insert the table. So in this lesson I will try to show you how to resolve these relations that show up in the additional tab in our case. And therefore I will start from scratch and again um, create a quote template. It's basically the same that we used in the first demo. So what I'll do is click on insert mail match fields at the top, the task pane opens and we can proceed with uh, selecting the entity which again is the quote. So I'll scroll down in the list with all the entities and search for the quote. Here we go. Now the list of all quote attributes is loaded and we can go ahead inserting some fields. Um, this time I will keep the format as simple as possible so I will just add some fields at the top so that we can directly proceed with resolving the relationship. I will just add the, the name of the potential customer at the top and maybe yours sincerely and information about the user at the bottom. So I'll choose user and tree, select first name, last name. And that's it for now. So how to add a relationship? The first thing to do is to switch to the additional tab in the task pane. There we can see that yet no relation has been resolved. So we have to click on new relationship entity. Once this is done, a new dialog appears. And as relationships are selected, we will see all available relationships from the quote entity when expanding the drop-down box. So we can see quote activity, activity party, and then there quote quote product. Once selected, we can see that the list of attributes gets updated and shows all attributes available for this related entity, which is the quote product in our case. And we can now go ahead and select the attributes that we want to have available within the tree view afterwards. So I'll choose the most common fields, which is quantity, price per unit, maybe the tax, and quite often um, the right in product value is needed. So once this is done, we're basically done, and we can save it back with a click on the OK button. What happens is that a new uh, entry gets available in the drop-down box, and once selected, we can see the attributes chosen before, and we can insert them as a table with a double click. Uh, I will not do this yet because in most cases it's it's required to add another relation away from the quote product. So we have we need information, for example, from the quote product as well as from the product entity. So we have to open this resolve relation and at the bottom we can find an option to link further elements. The same dialog appears again and at the top we can again choose a existing relationship, this time from the quote product. So there's quote product to the product entity. The attributes list now shows all attributes from the product entity itself and we can again choose the fields that should be available for insertion. I will again use the most common fields. Yeah, that's it, I think. And we can save it back with a click on the OK button. As you can see, the tree got updated and now contains a new expandable uh, entry called product with the three attributes listed below. And as used, we can now insert the table. So just double click on attribute, insert some fields, and of course format the table the way we want. Um, yeah, I will add a column header and maybe add the amount field. So I'll split the column and split this uh, line again so that I can insert the fields. Now just double click on the extended amount and maybe yeah, place the table header, just amount the product name and the product number in that case. I think it looks better if we make the table header bold, so I'll mark this, make it bold and remove the borders. So, but um, as you see, that's, that's all that we need to do. We can now um, save the template and see if it works out. Just save it as a test, code test one. And uh, start with choosing CRM data. So I'll open the dialog, search for a, a quote, and the document gets generated. We can see that it's for the Mustaman company, 
and the list of all the line items appears. So this procedure of adding relations is the same for any one-to-many or many-to-many -many relationship. So maybe to get, give you a better understanding, I will create another template, somehow something like an account overview, where we'll show a list of all contacts related to an account. So um, yeah, the first thing to do is to, as in all templates, insert some text, define the layout, insert some fields. So we'll just insert the account name at the top, and then this should fo be followed by a list of all the contacts related to this account. So I'll click on the Insert Mail Mode Fields button, open the task pane, select the main entity which is account, insert some fields there, like the name, and now begin with uh, resolving the relationship. So what I'll do is click on Additional, click on New Relationship, and this time select Account to Contacts which is a one-to-many relationship as well. Once clicked, the attribute box will show all attributes from the contact entity. So I'll just use the most common ones in that case. So maybe email, the full name, and the, yeah, the phone number should be enough. Oh, where is it? I think I'll just use the mobile phone instead. And there it is. Okay, and that's it. Once this is done, we can click OK and a new uh, entry will appear on the additional tab. And with a double click, we can again insert the table. So I'll choose table without footer this time. Just, um, yeah. Let's make a three column table showing up the full name, the email address, and the, the phone number. But um, as you've seen, that's all. The, that needs to be done. You just have to click on additional, click on new relation, it will automatically bring up all available relations, so we just have to select the, the sub-entity, like contacts in that case, select the attributes we want to show up, and insert the attributes into the document as a table. Okay, let's again um, create a table header, name, email, and a maybe phone. I will again make this bold and remove the borders, maybe. And we can have another test by just saving the, the document or the template. So I'll just save it locally again. Let's call it Account Overview Test. And we can have a try with a click on Choose Random Data. I'll search for our company in that case. And what we get is the account overview showing up a list of all contacts that are related to this account within CRM. So, um, so that's all for now. I think you've seen that it's actually quite simple to resolve relations and add attributes of related records into one document. It's basically just a matter of resolving the relationships or the relationship, which could be any one-to-many or any many-to-many -many relationship. We support any custom entity as well as all system entities, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, the next time I will talk about uh, grouping possibilities. To be more detailed, I will I'll create a code with grouping template where the, the line items are grouped by the subject in that case. Um, hope to see you there. Bye.